Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode here today for part 30 for the American Grand Prix. For the first time on this channel, we're doing something very different. As in this video, we're going to be doing a live commentary. So we're going to start in qualifying and I'll see you after. There into the final two corners. Fair and wide. I'm just going to ignore that. Into. I'm going to find someone to take me up to start. I'm going to find so much time into the final two corners. Still down, obviously, I can't drive. But, you know, into the final corner, finally, it's gone green over the line. We've gained half the time. And that has contributed to absolutely nothing. So it wasn't the best of qualifying then, but it's Max Verstappen who is on pole position alongside George Russell. Then it's Leclerc, Gasly, Stroll, Alonso, Lando Norris, Kevin Magnussen, Daniel Ricciardo, we are P10, then it's Sainz, Sinoda, then it's Hamilton all the way down in 13th alongside Albon. And then it's Ocon and Perez with a penalty. And it's Schwarzman and Nicholas Latifi 18th. And on the back row, it is Mick Schumacher and Joe Kwan Yu. Right, we are here then for the race. Classic one-stopper. Mediums to hards. We're going to go all the way to lap 13 before we stop. And then 15 laps on the hard tyres. Which... Might not go so well actually. Let's, let's go a couple of laps, just one lap longer, and we can see whereabouts we're at. Then there we go. There's two, three, four, five red lights. They're out, and we are racing in the states. Good start by the Ferrari side, we're just going to have to do a little cheeky send on Ricardo. Watch the Alpine, what the hell are you doing in the Williams there then? What are you doing? You're on the grass, where, what gap did you see? We go through the yes sections now, and now there's Lando ahead, and ahead of him is Fernando Alonso. As we hunt them down, as we go through the yes section now. I nearly dropped the back end because it's, it's as bounce as loose as anything. No, 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 the gap. There's a gap. No, no, I found it. Up. Head of Lando. And that was half my issue. And on Alonso, why not? And then we're right on the back of our teammate. If Alonso wants to get out of my side. Good job, nice overtake. Right, come here then, lads. You need to understand who the real number one is in this team. Cheers. He's got the best results this season. It may have taken me a little time, a little while to catch you up, but look. You've sat around waiting for me to do your job because you're useless. No words, I'll just make you look a little bit silly one day. Sorry, so maybe a little bit off the track, but he's not me. Not me. Bye then, one day. Bye. You can't see that, but I'll wait there. You know what? I can, Mark. I can't win this place back. And I'm going to do it at the next corner. When Lando goes wide, we send it down the inside. And we make that Aston Martin as wide as the track. 
I'm really looking at the McLaren catching nothing, nearly when I get beat. But keeping behind us for now anyway until we get to the next few that wrestling and then he's about to absolutely blitz us down the pit straight. Here he is. And there's Sonoda in the mix as well. God knows what's happened to the lamps on in all of this. He's defended the inside. He's going to try and go around the outside. He's thinking about switch back. But he can't do it. And he's actually near it. He's about. And he's being done now by Yuki Sonoda. But he's just stayed ahead. Can't see. He'll probably do the post point on this bit. Oh, I zoom around the wrong way. Sonoda's through. Now three and a half seconds behind oh, that four. And that's all Magnus and I'll get that. George looks like he's in the lead. This is good. Leave me to that. I'll wait for you, because you just want to rip my front wing off. Come on. Come on, Carl. You can do it. The head of a wing. Jeez, Lando lost that big time. I'm doing a little cheeky match, man. Going to love him. Okay, we're back to post edit now. And at this point in the Grand Prix, we were just kind of just staying in touch with Sonoda and Stroll and just about staying ahead of Fernando Alonso. You see, we're doing not too bad compared to where we started. We're looking alright, but let's see what happens in the rest of the Grand Prix. Hopefully, we can go forward a bit more. I've lost my rhythm. I was in it and it we were doing all of the things. And now we're probably going to put my fire on the out here. I could do a strong carving up on the string. I'm not that dirty. You can be sending down the inside. <sighs> Come on, get the exit, get the exit, get the exit. Okay, that's all back down there. Oh, I love this thing. It's an odor, dude. At this point in the Grand Prix, we had lost some pace and we'd fallen back from the strong Sonoda battle into the clutches of Alonso and I really wanted to pit, but Lance beat us to it being ahead, we had to stay out. But everyone around us is in the pits, so hopefully that doesn't mean a bad thing and we continue whereabouts we are in the race. The pits become now. Perfect job on the turn in there, mate. Looks like a nice stop time. We're happy with that one. Come on, where are they? Look after these tyres now. We want to there. Oh, I'm getting up by a long side. And that was kind of like we've just got out to the long so that's annoying. Gold tires. The hell. Right. Well, 
What about the science as well? So we were kind of on our own at this point in the Grand Prix, you can see Paris all over it, so those faster cars around us who started further back with penalties are starting to carve their way through as Perez went down our inside, had a bit of a wobble, nearly put us off the track. I think there was nearly tire to tire contact that they were able too quick in a straight line and he is through. We tried to do the cut back, we couldn't unfortunately get the exit and Perez did get us. And at this point in the Grand Prix, we were just kind of doing our own thing on the hard tyres, not running near anyone, just on our own as Hamilton is on the back of us now. And here comes Hamilton up the inside into the final corner. We are going to try, we do the cutback, try and get the exit. We have the PRS there. So we're going to go to the inside, we're going to cut and go to the outside and try and set him up to go back round. The outside is blocked up and blocked up. And now, here we go. We can go up on the outside. We'll be counting the rest of the kids. today. What a superb victory. Natalie Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So that's been the American Grand Prix then, I hope you enjoyed the live commentary. Max Verstappen has won the Grand Prix after a George Russell retirement. As I didn't realise at the time, he actually led every single lap of that race until the engine blew up. Very unlucky, that's the most convincing performance he's put in since the start of the season and he's really fallen off. And he's really back to where he was at the start of the season. But Charles Leclerc with that second place puts himself in a great position to wrap up the title next time out in Mexico. We score no points again. Hopefully going into Mexico is one of my stronger tracks. Hopefully we can do a lot better there. 
get some points on the board there hopefully. So in terms of the constructors, we've moved down into P8, Alpha Tauri having an excellent weekend, moving them up from Stones and last, don't actually think they had a point, to P7 in the championship, so great result for them. Now we've got some work to do to catch them, 5 points in it, going into the last 2 races of the season now, in Mexico and of course we wrap up the season in Brazil. But I really hope you enjoyed this video, different commentary style, let me know if you like it, I may put something in the bottom corner so you know when it's live, when it's posted commentary but i hope you enjoyed the live commentary i know some of you wanted it so the next races from now on will be like this so i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in mexico